It's now the middle of April and you will see I've moved the upright coal frame to its new location uh, due to a garden redesign. And here are my top tips for using the upright coal frame from March through to May. So as you can see, the seed potatoes we planted back in February have done really well. So here's a look back at the process that we've gone through from February to the stage where we're at now in April. We planted these uh, seed potatoes about three weeks ago and, uh, and they're already sprouting as you can see. So now uh, I'm just going to cover them with some compost and keep rolling the sack up. I've just rolled the sack down so you can see them, so you can see the shoots and how deep they are. Get some compost, start and cover the shoots up. So just gently put, put it around without damaging any of the shoots there. So just cover those over just so that they can keep growing up through the sack and we'll keep doing that. I'll keep an eye on them, I'll keep them watered. And I'm going to pop them back in the cold frame so they don't get any frost on them. It's about a week since we last covered the potatoes over and just look how much they've grown. We've had some beautiful sunny days and they've shot up in the warmth of the cold frame. So what I'm going to do now is just, this will be the last fill really because they're right near the top. So I'm just going to fill the potato bag up, up to the top there and we'll then leave them to, to sort of grow on and flower very gently making sure not to break any of the stems just fill with compost around the leaves just make sure that it, it goes down now i don't need to i don't need to water that because the compost itself is already quite moist so i'm just going to leave that and we'll we'll take a look at these again in another couple of weeks when they should be outside the bag so as you can see the potatoes are doing really well there's even some flowers forming on some of the shoots there, which is a good sign. We'll leave these now to carry on or keep watering them, keep protecting them from the frost. And in uh, the next video, hopefully we'll be able to harvest some potatoes. Spring is always a busy time in the gardening calendar, particularly so if you're a greenhouse gardener. And what I'm going to do is now show you one or two tips. Um, we're not going to plant too many seedlings off because of the upright cold frame because of the limitations of the size and the space but I am going to just show you and talk you through one or two ideas that I'm going to use for my upright cold frame this season. So from seed what I'm going to grow this time in my upright cold frame is chilies. I'm going to try and grow some chilies. I'm going to try and get some little seedlings going on there so we can show how the seedlings develop. The other thing I'm going to grow is some courgettes in little pots and as they develop Eventually they'll free up some room because I'll be able to put those out into the vegetable garden. And likewise with the kale that I'm going to grow from seed, I'm going to do some succession planting of kale. So I'm going to plant some every two to three weeks uh, and keep a, keep a crop going of kale. Um, and then as, as the plants develop, they'll keep freeing up room in the coal frame, uh, hopefully for in the next video when we look at doing some tomatoes and things like that in there. For the kale and the chilies, I've prepared two seed trays with some dedicated seed compost. And as you'll see, I'm scattering the seeds thinly on the surface. And then what I'm going to do then is cover those seeds up with a, a thin layer of sieved compost on the top to about a quarter of an inch or half a centimetre. With the chilies, what I'll be looking for is two to three strong plants that I can grow on and fully cultivate into full plants that I'm hopefully going to get a good crop of chilies from using the upright coal frame. Kale seeds are much finer in a packet of these as about 400. So what I'm going to do is to just save a little bit of room in the, uh, in the coal frame. I'm only going to plant very sparsely on half of the seed tray. And I'm just going to give them a covering. Again, same as the chilies, I want about a half, half a centimetre covering there of that. We'll label those, we'll date them, I'll give them a watering and then we'll put them in the coal frame. The courgettes need a slightly different planting. I'm not going to plant those in, uh, in seed trays, I'm going to plant those individually in pots. And these go on their edge, as so. Uh, I'll just plant them in there on their edge. And they really want to go in about one and a half centimetres plenty deep enough. We'll give those a good watering, pot them in the greenhouse and keep them, keep them warm. So last year I had a great crop of uh, runner beans and I kept the, uh, the pods and we harvested some of the seeds from them. These are the seeds that I collected and harvested from last year so I've essentially got a free crop again this year. So what I'm going to do is plant these 
in these uh, in these cells. So I'll just put one on each cell. With runner beans, they go downwards, go facing down like that, and I'm just going to plant them to about the depth of the seed, and I'm just pushing them in about one and a half centimetres. Ideally, these pots aren't really deep enough. I would normally potentially grow these in like a root trainer or something like that, something that's a little bit deeper just to, to send the roots down on something like this. But what I'm going to do with these, because I've got a bit of a slug problem in the garden, is I'm going to transfer these once they've sort of germinated and got to about so big, I'm going to transfer them into deeper pots and I'm going to let the, uh, let the plant grow to a bit taller height, so about 12 inches in height before I plant them into the garden to try and get over any slug or snail damage that I might have. So now all we've got left to do on those is just water them in. So I'll keep those moist and keep checking on them and hopefully we'll have uh, some runner bean plants for the next video. So there we go. We've got um, all the seeds are sown. I'm putting them in the cold frame so they get some protection and hopefully everything will germinate. And next time we'll be looking at uh, growing some tomato plants, seeing how the seeds have developed and hopefully getting a crop of potatoes from the potatoes that we've set off. Mm -hmm.